Audio Evolution Mobile lets us work with a variety of instruments. And to keep track of them all, you get to narrow it down and say, I want to work with this specific type of track. So right now I'm creating a new track. I'm going to create a MIDI instrument track for this example. And it loads up with uh, a default uh, um, sound font, which gives you a whole bunch of instruments to, to start off with. And you audition them just by tapping these. And the more times you tap it, the more times you hear some new pitch. And there's a whole bunch of these. You got banks and banks of these. And uh, just scroll through here. Find something you like. That sounds epic. Let's go with that. And now when you hit the keyboard button, you get a full-on keyboard. Now, if you have a MIDI keyboard, you can plug that in. But if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, this will work just fine. It even has a sustain, so we can... And mod wheels and pitch wheels. So to record something, it's super simple. We just hit the record button. And by hitting next, we get out here and you see we've got a clip. It recorded everything. Now let's delete this clip and I'll show you the uh, drums. So if I tap once again on uh, the, the name of the preset, in this case, uh, fifth saw, we get back into the preset selection. If I go down to the bottom at the uh, 128 is a bunch of uh, presets that Audio Evolution Mobile knows are drum presets. So these are uh, you know, the classic 808, 909. Once again, tapping on it again gives us different uh, sounds. And now when I hit the keyboard though, instead of a keyboard, I've got pads. So hit the record. And let's look what we got. Now, that wasn't very quantized when I was just you know, slamming different pads, but we can fix that by hitting edit, and that brings up the option to quantize. And it's asking me, do I want to affect all of the MIDI stuff here? And I do indeed. And I'm going to tell it to go to a quarter note or one beat. Now I can drag all of the notes And let's hear how that sounds. Let's give it a loop. I didn't want for this kick to be there, so I'm going to move it around. And now we can also, you know, throw in stuff. We could manually draw in stuff. Uh, so if I um, go into draw mode, I can say how big of a note do I want to do. In this case, I want to do a 16th note. And uh, I'll just throw in some... Hats. I've got a drum loop right there. And once again, next exits out of that. Now we could now take what we've made here and try this in something else altogether. Like uh, we go back into the main general bank. There are various uh, orchestral uh, drums in here. Let's try the melodic tom. It's really nice to be able to like, work in one thing and you get, like, we, we took what was basically a really generic house drum loop and threw it into this melodic tom and now we got something new all together. Uh, so that's, that's a lot of fun to be able to work like that. If you're on iOS, and uh, you may have noticed that I've got all of these other things going on over here. You've got uh, audio units, which can also be loaded up just as uh, a uh, any of these other instruments. So in this case, I'll just load up uh, Poison 202. Um, I'll remove this old uh, MIDI data there. And now when I hit the keyboard, we've got... Poison 202 loaded up inside of Audio Evolution Mobile. I mean, this is like the fully functional bit of the app. 
turn on the filter so you can see this. Like I am actually controlling one app inside of another app, uh, which is really cool. And uh, Poison actually exposes all of its presets here. So you, you can actually select new uh, presets from, uh, let's try this one. That's really awesome. 